Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I'm going to show you how you can do form validations in Vue. So in my previous video, I've shown you how you can create a form in Vue. So let's get started with today's video and I'll show you how you can validate your input. So let's get started with today's video. So in my previous video, I have created this form. Here you can see name, email, phone and message. So now let's uh, enter some values inside this. So Katie, let's say any random email, random phone number and random message. Now let's click on submit. And in uh, inspect, you can see console. There is all the values with the key like name is having KT value email and all these are printed in console. So in code, you can see example component is there and inside that one form I'm having at the rate submit dot prevent that is going to handle submit and there are some inputs you can see all the name email phone and message that i have shown you just uh, in view and handle submit is consoling this dot form so that also i have shown you how we will be getting the data so now let's get started with validation so for that i'll be installing v validate so open terminal and there write command npm install v validate so it started installing it will take a little bit of time so now it's installed let's go to package.json and there you can see v validate is present its version is 4.10 so in this video i'll be showing you validation of view 3 so if you want to go with view 2 then you can go with the validation observers validation providers so but in view 3 it's a little bit different for validation so i'll be showing you that so we validate will be using like components for validation in view 3 so let's import those so here form also will be a component and input will also be a component so let's import form first from we validate and then let's write components and pass that form inside components so inside script passing as components so this will tell example component that these all component we will be using inside this and i have already changed form because in html form f will be small but here we are using component as a form so capital f so now let's import field because now let's change input uh import that and let's use that in components so now let's change all our imports so here do not get confused form and fields are already created components that are present in v validate package so we are using from that v validate package these form and fields so let's quickly change all input to field and the last one is text area so also change it to field remove from last closing tag of text area now text area we need to define one as as a text area so here as you can treat as input type that you are defined text email so here text a so now let me show you documentation regarding this whatever i have done till now so here you can go and let me show you directly so here you can see form and field same the way i have shown you it's changed now here you can see validate email it's like a function basically rules that how you, you are going to apply so this one is a function that you will be creating in your script and that will be called here but here if let's say you have a very big form then for every field creating a separate function that will be a really big code that i don't want so to like optimize it and to simplify it i'll be using yap here so using yap i can create schema and inside that i can define all my rules so it's having some predefined functions that already created that I can just directly use it. So it simplifies validation for you. So now let's go and install yup. So write command npm i yup. So it's installed now and you can see in package.json it's added yup. And it's having version 1.2. So after installing let's remove all required from input fields. And now let's import yup. So for that write import star let's say as yup from yup so validation schema we will be creating in data so write a constant variable let's say const schema and we will be creating a yup object so write yup dot object and inside that all the fields for validation so let's say name so name will be string and it will be required 
so write yep dot string as a function and also dot required as a function we will be calling so now second field that is email so email also yup dot string dot required and one more that is let's say email we will be checking now let's say third third is phone so that i'm going to change to let's say required and uh, fourth one is message message also string am required so now instead of form data will be returning this schema object so now let's remove all v model from input fields and uh, as this will be handled using yap like input binding and uh, rules also so now let's apply our schema so with form we will be going to use validation schema and in that we will be passing our variable schema so here a uh, colon we are using as because it is dynamic so now our last thing that is pending is displaying error messages so for that we need to import one more component that is error message and let's include in our components and for displaying error below field call that component error message with the name of the field that is name and class also i'm giving for like red text color so that is text danger now let's copy and paste below all the fields so now let's change name here email after field phone change name phone then now uh, text area name will be message so now let's go and check in browser so if i'll click on something you can see name is required field email and if i'll write something in message you can see it's removed now let's write something in name and if i'll click outside you can see it's now getting removed so that's how you can do validations in view let me show you yup documentation so here you can see string number you can check for phone like this number required positive integer so there are separate like functions created for which one you want to use for valid your validations so you can go through this and use whichever required for your project so lastly how we can get values of these like inputs so now let's go to handle submit that will like handle submit will be called so that will be like same only but in handle submit function one parameter we will be passing here values now let's console dot log these values so now let's go to browser and uh, refresh so now let's enter name let's say it's a email anything phone message and now let's submit so on submit you can see in console name is there or email so all are having its values so that's how you can get the values of your input fields so now if i leave any input blank then submit it will not get submit so now you can see if all fields are filled then only it's getting submitted so that's how you can apply validations in your form in view so that's all in this video in my next video i'll show you how you can submit this form using axios so i hope you like this video if you have any doubt related to this topic then you can comment down in the comment section thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel